So we are here at Kolka Canyon and our new mission is to reach the famous Rainbow Mountain, which is somewhere around here. Looks like that's the end of the paved section. Ah, this is the reason why it takes eight hours. Whoa, we're really climbing up high on this little dirt road. Look at this. Whoa. It looks pretty dark up ahead. This is where we came from. Blue skies. And this is where we're going. Grey skies. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Okay, we've just come over the crest of the pass and look down there in the valley. It looks absolutely terrible weather down there. Terrible. Oh, I would love to turn around. <laughs> Go back to Chive, <sighs> where there was nice sunshine and everyone was partying. <laughs> we had a look on the map and it doesn't look like we have a lot of choice of um, direction. Basically, it's either go back where we came from and give up for today or kind of continue on yeah oh my god that looks scary as hell yeah we see lightning strikes as well here so it really doesn't actually look very nice at all no anyway let's hope for the best hey maybe it will disappear in a minute we can only hope <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Ooh. did you see that lightning strike? Yeah, I did see it. I don't like that. We're just pausing here for a minute or maybe for a little bit because we just want to see what's happening in front of us, see whether maybe the storm is going that way. Our road is going that way, which at the moment is like directly through the center of that area over there. And uh, you never know, maybe in like 20 minutes, half an hour, it's moved that way and then we can whew, Okay, we've waited a little bit, but it does not seem to be getting better. And if anything, it's coming towards us. So I think if we've got to take it on, we better do it now, hey? Yeah, just close your eyes and go through. Pray we don't get struck by lightning. Yeah, you can see like in the background that the, uh, the mountain's having snow now, actually. Yeah, I think it's literally snowing right over there. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my god! The biggest, most hidden speed bump in the entire world. Yeah, there's another one. What is that? It's like a, a ditch. <laughs> oh god! Wow, this town here looks totally shut down. Yeah, right. I mean, I think everybody saw the storm and they're all inside now. Yeah, everyone thinks like, no way, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I can see, I think our road is up there ahead. Oh. Oh no. But look, it looks like it's covered in snow. What do you think? You think it's even worth continuing? I don't know. I really, really don't know. I mean, it doesn't look nice at all. It looks absolutely terrible. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> it's hard to tell which road is our road, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, we're right in the thick of it now. You can see the white from all the hail and snow which is hitting the hills around us. The temperature has gone down to 5 degrees now, which is ridiculous. Uh, because no, it was like 20 yeah. degrees before. Yeah, no idea what's going on here, but... Yeah, this is an absolutely miserable ride at the moment. Yeah. I'm just surprised at how quickly it all changed, you know, it was quite sunny and nice, 20 degrees, we were like, oh, let's take off our layers. Yeah. And then we come up and over the hill, and now look where we are. Looks like winter here. It's the middle of winter in the middle of summer. Yeah. Yeah, and the problem is as well, I don't even know where we want to get to, you know. I mean, we routed ourselves to the car park where the Rainbow Mountain is, but this is still like 150 miles away so we are just like a little bit blind riding at the moment hoping just that the weather changes 
<laughs> yeah, just literally following the line, winding our way through the mountains. Yeah. My trousers aren't actually waterproof anymore and um, like my bum is completely wet. <laughs> Hopefully the sunshine is coming soon. Either sunshine or paved road. Oh yeah, please, one of these things. One of those two things at some point soon. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is just ridiculous now. I literally cannot feel my fingers anymore. It's still five degrees. It is cold. Yeah, welcome to Winter Wonderland. I cannot believe this is the same day that we started this morning. Yeah, I'm bloody freezing as well. Oh man. Can't I, believe I think it. we must be at like 4,000, 4,500 meters, I guess. Uh, yeah, at least. It's got to keep going. Yeah, hope for the best. There's no point in stopping now. No. It's, is it like quite, quite soft here? I don't know, it's just a lot of puddles, there's a lot of potholes, there's a lot of rain. And it's absolutely terrible. I think there's like slushiness from the from the heck from all the hail. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just it's just really a bad road. Really bad. <sighs> okay, very good my love, very good. Wow, this road is so bumpy now. Yeah, and there's basically a thick layer of sleet on it now. Or sort of muddy sleet, I'm not really sure what it is. But yeah, and it's so full of potholes, it's unbelievable. I cannot believe this road, really. It's so, so the worst. Yeah, what a bad road. This would be bad even if it was dry. Yeah. And this is like slushy and horrible. Oh my God. It's uh, just not getting better. Nope. It's getting worse. My helmet is as well so bad. We fogged up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm like half fogged up on one side, but I can just about see if I turn my head. Okay. <laughs> but it's not great visibility, let's say. Where's the nice relaxing ride I got promised? Yeah, this morning had a lot of promise, hey? It was yeah. like nice winding valleys, green, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, how did it turn into this? I don't know. Okay, in six miles, we'll join up with the next road and see if that road's any better. We've reached a paved road. Oh my God. Oh man. <sighs> that was so hard work. Yeah. Yeah, that was something else. I tell you, that was something else. Yeah. And it's not raining here, which is nice. There's no snow on the side of the road, which I'm happy about. <laughs> yeah. Well, that didn't last very long. That was literally paved for about three minutes. I have no idea what that paved part was about, but anyway, it's back like this now. Now we have no idea how long this is going to go on for, so. Yeah, probably until the Rainbow Mountain car park. <laughs> <laughs> and at the moment, my Garmin doesn't even know that we're on a road. It's saying, calculating, calculating, get back to the road. What are you doing? Why are you there? <laughs> and then on Google Maps, they say, oh, take the highway, which is just there, but there is no highway because we just had a look. Yeah. <laughs> so literally Google Maps doesn't know where we are. Garmin doesn't know where we are. Yeah. These roads don't exist. Yeah. It's so strange. It's so strange. Anyway, we will... Uh... Check back in in one hour. <laughs> Oh, I think it's paved. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, miracles can happen. So we're just stopping in this town. Got a little cafeteria here. Got to get some hot drink. Maybe some hot food. I am cold. Let's see if they got some coffee, hey. Hola, buenas. 
Ana, ¿tiene café? Sí, ¿Tiene uh, sándwich? Queso y huevo. Uh, queso y huevo, sí, perfecto. Gracias. Oh, look, they got Cartoon Network on. Oh, that was a pretty, pretty nice snack break. That was more than a snack in the end as well. <laughs> it was a big snack. <laughs> First we were like, oh, two egg sandwiches. And then we saw that they had chips on the table next to us. We were like, oh, and a portion of chips. Yeah, and I really wanted to have some salad and some vegetables. So I was ordering a plate of salad and vegetables as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing only cost us 28 soles, which is about five pounds or so. So, you know, that was a feast for five pounds. Man, yeah, I am totally, stuffed. Yeah. So now we had a bit of a decision to make when we were sitting there eating, um, because we have one town <laughs> in an hour, but a very, very small village, which has apparently only one place to stay. Uh, they didn't say it was that nice. Or in two hours, there's a town called Sikuani, and Sikuani has a lot more accommodation options and it also puts us an hour closer to Rainbow Mountain tomorrow meaning that tomorrow we might be able to get to Rainbow Mountain and get to Cusco on the same day which would be an absolute miracle if we got there yeah it would be cool yeah but the issue is that it's four o'clock now and um, it estimates that we're going to get to Sikuani around quarter past six which is exactly at sunset Yes. I reckon we're going to be able to make it before sunset. Fingers crossed. So we are finally arriving in the town of Sikuani. As you can see, it is getting pretty dark pretty quickly. Yeah, we were really lucky that the rain clouds are over there and didn't hit us yet. But yeah. yeah, it's dark, it's dark. And there's lightning as well going on. So I'm ready to arrive somewhere. And we were lucky there was a lot of it that was paved, but there was actually still some that was unpaved. So it's a bit of a battle to get here, to be honest. Yeah. We really pushed it today and uh, we couldn't have gone any further. I found one place on iOverland and it should come up just in a minute. If you just follow this road here, it's going a little bit to the left and then it should, the place should come up on the right. Okay. Maybe just here, just here. This one? Yeah, normally just here. Oop. I see a sign saying hostel here. <laughs> oh God. God. Yeah, okay. I, I was. Uh, I stalled it. <laughs> it says Hostel Sikani. Oh yeah. Well, the storm is coming. I think it's getting really bad weather. We have to like get inside pretty soon. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa! It's hail. Look at this. All right, let's get this stuff. <laughs> oh. 
Muchas gracias, chao. There we go. Wow. We're inside, yeah. but like 10 minutes too late. Now we are soaking wet again. Oh yeah. my God. Soaking wet. Oh. A room. Yes, we've made it inside a room. Yes, absolutely. <sighs> But anyway, we made it! Happy and alive! Yes. <laughs> and we will just have a nice hot shower and then jump straight into bed. And that's it for us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.